Are we having fun? Yes, we are. All right, Libra, Libra rising and those with their moons in Libra. The energy of Gemini is in your ninth house of philosophy, new beliefs, and new horizons. Seeing the world, it's a big place, isn't it, Libra? The world is a big, grandiose place. This is a time, too, where you might be thinking, Libra, of taking a higher education course in some way, learning something new, but your belief systems are changing. Maybe you thought this, maybe it was a religious thing and you thought this, this, and now you're like, no, I'm thinking this, this, no. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's an exploratory feeling. It's, it's opening the mind a little more, not being too centered on one thing, Libra. Definitely going through a mind shift and a learning shift here. Okay. Uh, there's some stuff with your money, Libra, too. You're thinking about your future money, your RSPs, and maybe being less dependent on the government or your spouse, Libra. You're thinking about that. You're definitely thinking about the future. Uh, death, taxes, sex. <laughs> That's the uh, message I got there for you, Libra. But yeah, opening the mind to new possibilities and um, realizing that there's a big set of new data to learn here. A new set of data is coming towards you. <laughs> Not surprised they got the book knowledge. Yes, this new data set, this new knowledge, this new book. And it can be a learning thing too. Like I said, it could be a new course or uh, going to school for something or whatever. That could be a thing too. But it's definitely all about opening the mind. New knowledge, new data sets are coming your way, Libra. So that's very good indeed. And here we have, I forgive the past. You need to forgive the past in order to start this new beginning. Three plus seven equals 10. Further reduced equals one. The beginning of the movie. You are starting something new, Libra, in a way. You know, you're ending something, but you're starting starting something, but you need to forgive the past so that you can start this new endeavor and this new knowledge, this new data set that's coming your way. Okay. Now I want you to think about Libra this Thursday. Oh, that's tomorrow. Full moon in Sagittarius, a very philosophical, higher learning thing. The ninth house. Sagittarius rules the ninth house. Well, I'm seeing a lot of correlation here tomorrow. Tomorrow's the full moon and ending a time to forgive the past. I forgive the past. It's a time to write out a letter to someone who has hurt you. And if you can't think of anybody, maybe it's yourself. You hurt yourself in some way. I forgive you, blah, 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 for this. Uh, love your name, right? Burn it tomorrow. Full moon, Sagittarius. Burn it outside. Let the energy go to God, the universe, everything away from you so that you can move forward. Okay, so that energy is holding on to you and holding you back like a web. Okay, Libra. So do that. It's going to be very good. I forgive the past. Very good for your new belief system, your new awakening, and uh, your new exploratory journey in life. Line break. Thank you, Libra. Next is Scorpio.